Hey guys, we have another disassembly and assembly video. Uh, this time for the Glock Gen 4s. Uh, this one in particular is my Glock 20, chambered in 10 millimeter. So first thing we're going to do is check to make sure that it's safe to work on. So pull back the slide, check the chamber, there's nothing in there. I'm going to check the magazine well, make sure there's nothing in there as well. And then quickly give the trigger a pull in a safe direction. So, safe to work on. So, first thing we're going to do is uh, take off the slide here. And to do that, we're going to pull the slide back a little bit. So it goes up like that. And then, we're going to pull down on the slide release right here. So, just like this, pull it up. Not too far. Pull that down. And that should slide right off of there. Then, pull off your spring here, then the barrel just slides out just like that. Now this would be a normal field strip, you would clean your barrel, um, get any gunk out of there, etc. But we're going to go a little bit further and tear down the rest of it. So now we're going to disassemble the slide. So first thing we want to do is take out the striker. In order to do that, we need to take off this back plate here. So if you look in here, you'll see this little plastic piece that's in here. We actually need to push that down because this back plate is under spring pressure. And in order to take that off, you need to relieve it a little bit. So we're going to press down on this. So basically go in and then push down that way and then we should be able to slide this top plate off. So I normally find it pretty pretty easy to do it this way. Stand it up on there, use your punch there and it should just slide off like that. Now there is another spring keeping the extractor in so just be careful that that doesn't go flying everywhere. Then just go ahead, pull it off of there There's your striker. There's a retaining spring for the extractor. And now the extractor should just kind of pull right out of there like that. And then safety spring or safety bolt, whatever pin, safety pin we'll call it. That comes out of there just like that. So that's all stripped as far as you can go with it. All right, so next we're gonna take apart the frame. And this, there's really only three pins that we have to worry about. There's the two here, and then also the one back here. So just starting from the top, we'll pop all those out. There's that one. We do the one for the trigger. There we go. So that one's out of there. And then the one in the back here. Just like that. All right. So next we can take out the block here. Need be. Use your punch to kind of shimmy it out of there. There we 
we go. It's a little bit tight in there. And then you can take out the slide release. Then if you pull up right here, it takes out the whole trigger assembly, just like that. Then, if you actually want to take off the, um, the slide lock that we used to take the slide off in the first place, all you need to do is there's a little metal spring down here that you push down and then you'll push that all the way to the side. So we're going to push down. Then that starts to come out, just like that, and then you can pull that spring out of there, just like that. And then the last thing we can do is remove the magazine release, and this is good if you want to change this to like uh, if you're left-handed or anything, you can switch it to the other side here. And how we do that is if you look inside, there is a tiny little bar. If I can prop that up. There's a tiny little bar right here. right here that we're going to slide over to the right and it's slide over and then try to pop it up. So I realized after filming that you can actually see me taking the magazine release out very well. So we're reshooting it. So there's the bar in there and we're going to be sliding it that way to release the uh, magazine button here. So if we go in there, take a screwdriver, get behind it, push it all the way to the right, and it should lift up just like that. And then should be able to just slide the button out like that, move this out of the way as needed. Come in from this side. And lift that out of the way. And then that'll pop right out of there, just like that. So now, doing the reassembly, we want to put the magazine catch button back in. So we're going to go with the serrated side pushing in from that side if you're right-handed. And what we'll do is we'll face it this way. And I like to go in from the other side of where the uh, button goes through and stick my punch underneath there. Lift it up and over so that it goes goes right on top where the button bar should be going across there. So now it's in on both sides, but the last thing you want to do is just slide this bar and there's a little notch right here. You're going to slide that bar over to there. at a weird angle for me. So we'll go from this side. Just like that. And you'll hear it snap back in. And now that's all working correctly. Next, we're gonna put in the trigger assembly. It's pretty easy. Slides right into place, just like that. 
Then we're gonna put in our slide lock. And for that, first we need to put in our spring, and that just slides down into there. So you'll kind of notice how I'm putting this back in here. It has the little smaller curved part facing up, and then the longer straight piece on the L goes down into the slot. Then you just push that down, put our punch into place, and then for this, the small part needs to be facing upwards, and there should be some numbering on there, or if you want to look a little bit closer, there's actually an indent. You want the indent facing you if the gun is pointed out. So we'll just put that in there like that, just to get it started. Push the whole spring down. And then slide it into place. It's really weird to do at this angle. All right, let's do it this way. So that's all in place. Then, put our frame block back in. That just slides down, like so. Now, what we want to do before we put in the trigger, uh, trigger pin, is we want to put the pin in for the block up here, because that'll help with the slide release. So we just take that, tap it in a few times, make sure it's actually going in properly where it needs to go, and then we'll hammer it in the rest of the way. There. Just like that. And next, we're going to slide in the slide release button. And for this, the reason why we did it this way is because we want the uh, block pin right there, because this spring is going to slide up underneath that. And then you just put that into place. It'll kind of lock up underneath there. And then we can put our pin through there. And you may need to shimmy around the slide release a little bit until it locks into place. And then you should be able to hammer it the rest of the way through. Then last, we just put the pin in on the grip here. And then we're just gonna take our punch, go around and seat these the rest of the way. Because you can see on like the other side here, they're only partially all the way through. We kinda wanna even them out between the sides. There we go. So next we're going to reassemble the slide. So first thing to do, we're going to slide our extractor in. Slides in like that. We just put our safety pin. It goes down in there like that. It should just lock into place when you push it down, when it's seated correctly anyways. Next, 
slide down our striker slash firing pin and then we'll put in our extractor retaining spring and then we have to slide the back plate back on so again we need to be able to push all this down to relieve the pressure on there so this time we're actually going to press down I'm going to press down on here just to get the just to get the back plate started actually I'm going to use a slightly bigger punch so you get your back plate ready to go like that slide that down kind of goes into place here then you can use your smaller punch to push down the extractor spring and that pops all into place and then we're just going to check and make sure really quick that the safety kind of works on here so right now you can't see the firing pin go through it all on the little hole right there but if you press down on the safety you should be able to push the firing pin all the way through it's kind of now that's kind of how you know that you assemble things correctly. So, that's all good. So next, we're gonna finish off the assembly of the slide. Just put your barrel in like that, slides into place. Put your spring in there. That locks in like that. And then that is all good to go. All right, so for the final assembly, Line it up with the rails there, push it through. Now, if you do ever have this problem of where it seems to be stuck at the very end, pull this off and either pull the trigger forward that way or push right here or a combination of the both. And you'll hear a little click right there. and then slide it back together. There. Now, we'll test it out really quick. That works fine. Slide release works okay. And, fire's okay. So there you go. more videos like this, please hit like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitch in the description below. Until next time, take care of yourselves.